Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, File Manager Functions, Copy To and Move To, I'm going to show you how you can use the File Manager to copy and move files anywhere in your computer. The File Manager in Eclipse can be accessed by pressing Ctrl F or going to Tools and then File Manager. Once you're in the File Manager, you can select a file by putting a check mark next to it, or you can hit the plus sign next to a file and select just one part of the file. For instance, if I just wanted to send the PDF file, instead of checking the whole file, I can uncheck it and check just the PDF file. This way, when I hit copy to or move to, only the PDF file will be included. For this example, I'm going to make a copy of this PDF file and put it on my USB drive. If I open Windows File Explorer and go to my USB drive, currently there are no files on it. So I'll minimize this window, and with the PDF file still checked off and selected, I'm going to select Copy To, and since I want to put it to my USB drive, I don't currently have my USB drive added as a file location, so for this example, I'm going to choose Browse and press OK. This opens a Browse for Folder window that allows me to access any file or folder or drive that's attached to my computer. So in this example, if I scroll down, I should see my USB drive. And you see that I see it here under the This PC heading, and I also see it all the way at the bottom as a standalone drive. You can select either of these options when you're using a USB drive. So I'm going to select my USB drive and press OK and the file is no longer checked, indicating that the process has been completed. If you select a large number of files or large files, such as WAV files, you may get a processing bar indicating that it's taking some time to send the files. Once that processing bar is complete, the file will collapse again and become unchecked like in this example. So if I open up my USB drive again at the bottom, you see that I have my file1.pdf here as I requested. So for the next example, I'm going to select File 2, and we'll see how Move 2 works. Copy 2 is great if you simply want to send a copy of a file somewhere, and Move 2 is useful when you would actually like to move that file to a different location. This will remove it from your Jobs folder and from Eclipse, and move it only to the location where you select. This is great if you want to back up files and free up space on your hard drive. So for File 2, I'm going to check it off and hit Move 2 and I'm going to select Browse again and press OK, and I'll scroll, scroll down and select my USB drive again. Press OK, and you'll see that now I have File 1, File 3, and File 4. File 2 has disappeared from my Jobs folder, and if I open up my USB drive again, I now have File1.pdf and File2.ecl. So it has successfully moved file2.ecl from the jobs folder or from the jobs tab of my file manager and into my USB drive exactly as I requested. Now, if my USB drive had a folder on it, such as a PDF folder, I would be able to undertake the same action but specify that I want the file in that PDF folder. So for this one, We'll go ahead and choose File 3, and again, we'll choose only the PDF. We'll do Copy To, Browse, and now, if I hit the arrow next to the USB drive, I can see my PDF folder and select that and press OK. Now that the file operation is complete, I can go back to the USB drive, and if I look inside, I have the File3.pdf, and since I chose Copy To instead of Move To, the PDF is also still within my job folder. So with Move To or Copy To, using the Browse option, you can move a file to any location that you need to on your computer. However, after you hit Copy To or Move To, you'll see that there are some other default locations here. If you have something like Outlook or Thunderbird installed, you could select Email and it'll automatically open up an email with the file attached. You can burn to a CD if you have a CD drive and need to make a CD. However, there are also other file locations listed here, such as the Job folder, which is the folder we're currently in. If you are in the Job tab of the File Manager and you select Copy To and you select the Job folder again, it'll prompt you to rename the file. 
And so I can put in copy at the end of this file name. And you'll see now I have file four and file four copy. And so that's what happens if you move something to the same location. However, also in the pick one list, after you do copy to or move to, you have the other options available at the top of the file manager as well, such as backup, desktop, documents, and main. The main folder is under documents eclipse, and that's where all of your user settings are stored. You can customize the tabs at the top of your file manager by going to your user settings. If you go to user settings and then programming, we can do file locations. Once you're in file locations, you can press add and you'll get a list of all of the default options that are available to add file locations for. However, you can also create a new location. I'm going to go ahead and create a new location in my file manager to access the PDF files that are on my USB drive. In this example, I'm not going to use the PDF shortcut because if I change this PDF shortcut, that means that any PDFs I create will default to that location instead. And what I want in this example is instead an area in the file manager that I can copy files to and from. However, when I make a PDF, I want it to keep going into my jobs folder. So I'm going to hit create new location and press OK. It'll ask me for the location name. So I'm going to call this USB PDF because it's going to point out my USB drive into the PDF folder that we made. I'll press OK and I'll scroll down and hit the arrow next to my USB drive and select the PDF folder and press OK. After creating my PDF shortcut for the file manager, I can go back to tools and then file manager. And you see that at the top, I now have tab number seven, USB PDF. And right now I've removed all of the PDFs that were in that folder. But if I hit explore, it takes me to the Windows version of that folder. And you see that it's on my USB E drive and in the PDF folder. So what I can do now is go to the job tab and I can select a file in this instance, I'm going to choose file one PDF. I will check off the PDF and then hit copy to. And you'll see that now I have USB PDF as an option. I'll select that and hit OK. And my file operation has completed. My file is no longer checked. And if I go to tab seven where it says USB PDF again, I now have the file one PDF. If I go back to the job tab and select the file three dot PDF, this time I'm going to select move to and I'll use the USB PDF button again. And this time the file three dot PDF has disappeared from my job tab and it has moved to my USB PDF tab instead. So the move to file has actually taken the file and cut it and pasted it onto my USB drive. Whereas the copy tab has copied it and pasted it onto my USB drive, making an extra copy. Copy to and move to are useful and easy to use whenever you're trying to move small number of files into specific places. It may not be the best way to do all file management practices, but they are useful tools that are used very commonly by all of our users. I recommend making yourself familiar with these actions as they will make your life easier. Thank you for watching this latest installment in our file manager function video series. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Technical support can be reached anytime at 772-288-3266, and email support is available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoy our channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we put out new content. Thank you and have a wonderful day.